Welcome back to Just an Electric Show. Head to Phoenix, where earlier this week, Bradley mm. Beal got his brand new jersey. He seems legitimately excited about it, too. I like that. Yeah. Meanwhile, Devin Booker and KD spotted in their Bahamas working on their jump shots. Brew, anything short of a title, a disappointment for the Suns? Absolutely. Oh. Kevin Durant's been to four finals. Devin Booker's been to one and ended in disappointing fashion after they went up 2-0 in Milwaukee. Frank Vogel's won a championship. Yeah, what, are, what are they getting out of another finals appearance or a Western Conference finals Bradley appearance? Bradley Beal was in round two once. Uh, Beal, Beal's the one that they got to carry. <laughs> but was. really, this, yeah. is, this is championship or bust, not to mention how old Kevin Durant is and how injury prone he is. Mm -hmm. Okay, they don't have time to waste. I said it this year. Now, they went out, they didn't get it done, and they smartly went out and made a move. They bring in Bradley Beal. And I do think that that's how they have to – I'm not saying they're the favorites or I'm picking them to win the championship, mm -hmm. but in their minds, Gotta be. it should be we have to win this championship. Nothing else matters. They have – you know, right now they got a big four, which is more than most people can say. So, yeah, okay. it's championship or bust. The, the, I disagree on the big four part. But you I don't put want... Austin Reeves in a big three. No, no, so I did not. I take DeAndre Brew, Ayton's Brew, better I, than I, Austin Brew, Reeves. I did not put anyone in a big anything. I did the best trios in the but league. But you said big maybe three. I, maybe I said that, but I was doing the best trios in the league. And we can talk about the okay. Lakers in a moment. My point is I am, I am not putting DeAndre Ayton – who the Suns repeatedly have shopped and seemingly the rest of the league has said, you know, we're good on that. I'm not necessarily including him as, as a top quartet in anything. 17 and 10 looks I, good I, to me. He didn't to Monty Williams, and it hasn't and to anyone around now, the organization. Now, you know what doesn't look good or, to Monty? What? His attitude. Well, yeah. And that's part that's, of it. it. This is what the Suns need to do this, uh, this offseason. Oh, if I'm Frank Vogel, I am getting to know DeAndre. I am building up his confidence. I'm trying to get him to understand you are a huge part of what we're doing, and we need you to win a ring. Yes. Like, build up that relationship. And go to the role players, Torrey Craig, Jock Land, mainly Torrey Craig and, and Josh Okogie. And all I'm emphasizing is 3 and D. Yeah, 3 and of D. Of course. 3 and D. That's yeah. it. And if you could Because if you're a role player worth so your salt, if you're a role player worth your salt, you will excel around those three okay, players. Sure. I'm serious. The, so I, I wasn't trying to get us off kilter on to DeAndre Ayton because I agree with you. Any team whose best player, and I still believe Durant's better than Booker, any team whose best player is 35 years old right. and who has traded their first round pick for the next seven years – and has, starting next season, three of the six highest paid guys in the league <laughs> on their roster like is lot. all in. Any team that is okay with having their clear-cut third option, who I know, I listen, I don't value Bradley Beal as much as I think some do. He still obviously is a good player and I think a really good guy. But if you're okay with your third option making $50 million a year until he makes $60 million a year a few years down the road, mm -hmm. you are all in. Just like the Nets, not this version of the Nets, the Nets were all in when Prokhorov had them and they did the KG and Paul Pierce thing. Mm -hmm. The Nets this iteration didn't think they were all in in the short term because those guys were younger, but they were because it blew up so quickly. You are all in. Every year that Durant is on the team Absolutely. and this is the setup because Durant – and this is where, yes, I agree it's championship or bust, but as a basketball fan, I would just like to see, at least as Wilds would say, championship adjacent. I, it is a bummer to me that Kevin Durant, who is, you know, I was born in 1984, so my adult life is basically the year 2000 and now. Kevin Durant's one of the five best players that I've watched live as an adult, right? Mm -hmm. It's a bummer that we're on five years now that we have seen 11 minutes of basketball from him after round two. It's a bummer that one of the greatest players of a generation, we are half a decade of not seeing him play in the most important games of the year when we have seen him excel when he was making those rounds in those moments. Like so, yeah, I, I think that at least being in the finals, anything short of that would have to be a massive discipline. Right. do you buy this – Frank Vogel is going to have to be a defensive team first. Here's Frank Vogel's most successful teams. Those Pacers lost Eastern Conference Finals. They were first defensive ranking. Look at, look at Frank. 
Uh, again, they were first with the Pacers. When they won, they were third, and I think they got even better in the bubble. And then they were first when they lost in the first round. But so, do you think that this team is built for Frank Vogel's no. strategy on how to win? They won't be first in the league, but they can definitely be good enough defensively. They can be an adequate defensive team. But like, adequate, or but you think they're going to be in the teens? Denver and just score was fifteenth, and then picked it up in the playoffs. They can do that. They okay. because look, defense is will. If you have the requisite strength and athleticism and size, then it's really about your scheme and your will. It do you want it? That's I mean, we look at Denver's roster and we don't see a, a horde of great defenders, but they wanted it and they were on a string. But do you buy that Aaron Gordon is like, well, I used to be a star. I won the dunk contest in Orlando, but now I will become a defensive specialist. No, well, what he is did that in, be, in the playoffs. But, but that's going to be Bradley no, Beal? No, no, no. So I Booker, look at, Booker and Durant are already solid defenders. And then the role players, like I said, 3 and D. That's what I'm emphasizing. I mean, they got a 7-footer. So, yeah, protector. head right? on swivel, pound four, Real like Wojo, uh, the, the whole nine. But the, here's the thing that I – those Vogel teams, they were always the, – the style of – or the personnel they had, mm -hmm. they were better defenders than offensive players. So to reach their maximum potential, they had to be a defensive first team. Even the champion Lakers, the Anthony Davis is a better defensive player than offensive player. Yeah. LeBron was the only guy that was clear-cut – Offense was what he did far better than defense. The, the Pacers with Hibbert this and Paul year? George. No, I'm talking oh, about the year that when right, they won when the they title. Won, right, right, when right. they won the title. I think his utility with the Suns will be the they are almost a guaranteed top six offense. You know, with Booker, Durant, Absolutely. and now with Bradley Beal. Can you get them in – you know, where they are scratching at a top 10 defense. Right. And that, that is where Vogel's, you know, to me, the use will be. I don't think they can, by the way. Really? I, Why no, not? Because I don't think they have the depth for it. I don't think they have the personnel for it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that – I think that if your best defender on your team is Kevin Durant, you're in trouble on that side of the ball. because And Durant, by the way, is a good defensive right. player. Yeah, but if he's your best defender and your best rim protector, and your – so I don't think well, Booker is – I don't think he's a better rim protector than DeAndre Ayton. I, I – okay, again, I, I don't want to argue about DeAndre Ayton. I don't think DeAndre Ayton's a plus defensive player. Remember, and I know it was a few months, when Brooklyn, when Jacques Vaughn took over. Oh, what happened? They, hold on, hold on. They went from being arguably the worst defensive team in the league to a top defensive team based on scheme, coaching, it was and willpower. It was two weeks. That's it. It yeah. was two no, weeks. No, it wasn't of two weeks. It was a good Bro, couple it couldn't months. Have been it was a month it was not and a half couple to months. two months. It was, it was it, Kyrie you got were kicked off the team you temporarily and that was during with it. Kyrie yeah, no, and that was Kevin with Durant. Kyrie gone. It was with Kyrie gone. It was, it was and they were even yes, the fact that they were good defensively. Okay. I mean, just because. It Again, happened we to your can't Mavericks. argue I mean, about the Nets. We can't argue about the bottom Nets Bottom line, they They're went from gone. a bad defensive team to a Here's common. the odds to win the West. The champs are number one. The Suns are Ooh. number two. Ooh. Your Warriors, TBD if they're still your Warriors. <sighs> then your Lakers, not TBD, yeah. they just are. And then the Grizzlies. And it's yeah. Mavs. And the, uh, the Mavs aren't even on yeah, there. Yeah, where they at? Uh, <laughs> who's the most <laughs> imposing threat to Denver? It's obviously the Lakers. Obviously, it's obviously the what Lakers. What does their team even look like so far? What do you mean? It's the same team as last okay. year. Okay. Exactly. What right. do you not That's think it's issue. going? The one that got swept. Yeah, same one. Yeah, this one that made the conference finals. And LeBron's finals. gonna be a year older. Okay, so so is your answer the Suns? Is it's that your answer? I, look, I like the Lakers, but when you say obviously, see, I, that's it was the qualifier, obviously. You like obviously. Okay. I like them a little, but I will put the Suns slightly ahead So here's ahead of them. what yes. is frustrating to me, because the, the, the LeBron a year older and the injury concerns and all this stuff, you, LeBron is not a bigger injury concern than Kevin Durant. He just isn't. It's true. And, uh, and we can – I understand he's older and all yeah. the miles and everything, but even if we remove – just remove the full year Durant missed with injury and start since then. Since then, LeBron versus Durant, who's been more available? Who's been more durable post missing that year? We can show it to you side by side. Even at, at Durant, LeBron's most injured, 
He has been deeper in the playoffs, mm -hmm. and he has played more games. And he is, he, there are obviously different types of players and have different impacts. But if we are going to talk about the Lakers' well, concern that's, that's big, is yeah. LeBron James's age, which means LeBron James's health, then you can't counter with, but the Suns okay, are the it answer. It doesn't mean LeBron James's health. It means LeBron James's impact. He doesn't have the same impact that he used to have. I agree with and that. And it's not close. He went for 30 in the first half against the Nuggets, and it didn't matter. The, well, like, he doesn't impact the games the way he used to. And then his second guy is up and down and inconsistent. No, and that's why I put the Suns ahead of them. The, so you have the Suns as the biggest threat. Yes, yeah, slight. It's close with all the, these teams, but yeah. When the Suns played the Nuggets in the playoffs, they lost those games by 18, 10, 16, and 25. And in the two games they won, the headline was Booker and Durant set records yeah. that we have oh, never God, seen yes. before. Are Combining they the same for 85, team? What, the, because they, they just, added – they added another 20-point score. They had – that was their entire offense once Chris Paul went down. And by the way, when Chris Paul was healthy in game two, they were leading when he got hurt. Oh. And they did take two games off. The, they were a team that played eight games together and then lost their point guard, their floor general yeah. – in the playoffs, well, they play and eight? still took two games well, off the defending champs. They, or, well, the now champs. Well, why did they play eight games together? Well, I get the injury. We can talk about the Clippers, the Suns, the Lakers. We can throw injuries all, all over the place. I'm just saying they had no chemistry, and they still took Denver to six. Okay. And that's... now you've added a 20-point score. It's not all going to be on Durant Booker anymore. Did you think that Denver-Phoenix series was close? It was closer than the Lakers Nuggets. The, so that's it. Listen, it is a very interesting thing. Or was because, that a close sweep? No, I don't believe in a close <laughs> sweep. The, the Lakers got swept and lost those games by six, five, eleven, and two, an average of six points. So they they the don't let him get away. with No, that. hold on a second. Wait a moment. Don't. Wait a moment. I am not you. The the close. You might not use the term, but you are close, defining no. a close. No, 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 no. I am less concerned about the Lakers Nuggets series than if we are saying that because Suns Nuggets went six, it was a close series. Because I did not feel that way watching it. I did not. I do not feel that oh, way God. since then. I felt like the Nuggets dominated that series. This is a wild do you, take. This is a wild. Do you disagree? Take. I want to go to commercial. What? You disagree with that? Yes. I disagree that the team that won two games was further that's away than the right. team that got No, that's swept. not what I, I, I you said. sound like Darvin Ham. Like, uh, you know what? No. I feel pretty good. <laughs> no. I'm going to put Rui on Joker. <laughs> we'll be fine. No, that what is, the heck? That is not what we lost again. That's, Nick I, I, yeah, well, you guys are trying he's to bring up Nick. You guys came out like, who got a great? great. I feel pretty good. They lost, but this is unbelievable. Hold on a second. Don't go to commercial. No, don't. Bru, you are the one that believes in close sweeps. You were you preached it for years because your Nets got swept by the Celtics. I don't believe in it. You but by just your gave a two-minute soliloquy yes, yes, on did. a by your, close no, sweep. I was that no. You that did. is not what you I did. That is exactly what you that did. Is you not can't what I'm play doing. semantics with us. To, I was an English major. I, I, okay, clearly. you can't play I am semantics. I'm trying to with ask you a question. By your logic of a close sweep, is there such a thing as a six-game blowout? By your uh, logic. I would not call that a six-game blow. They lost each. They lost by an average of seventeen and, points. But here is the but, seventeen. But this is the other thing because yeah. we're talking about next season. Yeah. They lost their third best player. They lost their floor general, mm -hmm. and they had no. They barely knew each other. And then you lose the guy that has made a career out of bringing players together, okay. and you add a twenty-two three-point score yeah. in Bradley Beal. Okay. Oh, it's on next year. <laughs> it it is. On. Okay, there you go. So go with them. I'm not. I'm just saying there's the biggest early. threat right now. I know you, it's early. That, I reserve the right gotta, to change you gotta my mind. Get rid of that tape. Just admit close. I have work. to get rid of what tape? That the Lakers were close. I didn't. I am just, not well, saying the Lakers were close. Well, if you just say close, we will let it go. Yeah, say it. <laughs> no, because I don't believe in that. Well, you are finding it. I am saying it was a six-game blowout. That's what I'm saying. Clearly do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.